Be careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si. her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sembra come una donna per me. Everything all right? Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the Animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So, what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready. So what's the plan? We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on! Abstergo's out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped, so it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. Then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. All right, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with the 16. Ah, good old Subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his Animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. <clears throat> A few of the records of his later Animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through... After everything... I put him through... It's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed Sixteen so hard, we'd have the answers already. And maybe he'd still be alive. So you're after the Codex and the Vault? I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to 16 wasn't your fault. 
You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. What the hell? What is this? Where am I? It's... Hmm. That must be his target. I must have passed out. Just having some kind of weird dream. Going without sleep for who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. It's the woman from Anchor. What was her name? Maria. Yeah. I wonder what he wants with her. Whoa. All right. Wasn't expecting that. Wait a second. Why aren't I following Elta here? I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh shit. That must be. This is one weird dream. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few.
Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry, long night. What a professional, what a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Oh, madness, isn't it? Sean, please, that's enough. All right. Messer Da Vinci! Yes? Buongiorno e ben arrivato. I'm Elvise. Signor Don has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Ah, Venezia. What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? Come, I will show you her wonders. Our first stop, the Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal, a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let us continue. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto, oldest church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? And her clock tower, magnifico! Come, come, there's more to see. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets, be it spices or silk, from near and far. There is... there is... You were told to stay home! But the rent is paid! I have every right to sell here! Emilio disagrees! No, no, stop, stop! Let us continue the tour elsewhere. See what you've done, idiot! I brought that all the way from the coast! Look, isn't it amazing? Would you mind buying it for me? I have... Uh, I left my money with my bags. Hey! Mind your step, Corleone! Here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbarigo. Normally I'd suggest a closer look, but with the way things are now... Why? What's happened? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There has been resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people, for freedom or some such nonsense. But Giannate, if you ask me. They destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the Council. Good luck with that, my friend. What are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop!
And now, I present to you your workshop, Ser Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success, and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. So, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. Try and gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another Codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Di nulla. How best to get inside? I'll scale the wall and... Oh, that's not good. I'll never make that jump. I need to find another way. you we need to go you never did apologize for knocking me over now va bene where to the water that doesn't exactly narrow it down <sighs> never did catch your name. Rosa. Honorato Rosa, I'm Ezio. I know. What do you mean, I know? I, I only ate... Hugo! What's this? Rosa's been wounded. Pass her here. We'll go the rest of the way in the boat. Yeah. Careful. Go! I'll deal with the guards! Kill them, Ezio! Quickly! They're all over the rooftops! Do something quickly!
Stop here! Eccolo! Stop him! Dead, idiota! Say a prayer later! Porco demonio! I need to see... Uh, I need to see Antonio! Uh, Be uh, careful! Let uh, me do it! Go and find Antonio! Mr. Hugo, do what he says! Quell'ultimo arrivato dagli ordini! Hey! Hey! Wake up! We need help. Where's Antonio? Make yourselves useful. Clear a space for her. Put her down there. Where are we? Om. They've sent for help. Thank you. Rosa, what's happened? Out of me. Soon, soon. Let's have a look first. Clean entry and exit through the thigh. That's good. Get it out! Rosa, we must take care not to... Now! Come here, boy. Tenetelo. I'm sorry, Piccola. Sorry! Ficatelo nel culo, you're sorry! Go fetch Bianca and be quick. Help me with this. How? Take a clean piece of linen. When I remove my hand, press the cloth into her wound. Are you ready? Now! Uh, ben uh, Falco, you work well under pressure. Uh, uh, she spirited this one. Porca putana! Avanti! Get Rosa inside so that Bianca can close the wound. You'll be all right. The worst is past. Ti venisi cancero, brutto bastardo! A te che la grandissima troia di tua madre! Thank you. Rosa is most dear to me. If I had lost her... I've always had a soft spot for women in distress. So I've heard. Don't look so surprised. We know all about you, Ser Ezio. Your work in Florence and the rest of Tuscany. Good work, too. If a little... unrefined. Then you know why I'm in Venezia. I can guess. When you have a minute, come see me in my office. There's something we should discuss. Avanti! Ezio! Prego. Can I offer you something? Biscotti? Un caffè? What's caffè? An interesting concoction brought to me by a Turk merchant. Here, have a taste. A little bitter, if you ask me. Just seems lacking somehow. I don't know, have you considered adding sugar, maybe? Or latte? I suppose it's something of an acquired taste. Enough about that. Now where were we?
Our failure at the Palazzo cost us dearly. It will take time to recover. No doubt Emilio will use this pause to strengthen his defenses and continue his oppression of the district. You may not share our motive, but I know you share our goal. Why not gather your forces and try again? To act in haste would only bring more losses. No. We must resupply and draw new plans. Can you afford to sit around and wait? Nor would I want you to. Work with us instead. Already my men begin to mend today's wounds. Seek them out. They'll put you to work. The sooner you aid them, the sooner we can strike. Molto bene, Messere. I accept. It is the right decision. Ah, Ezio. I was hoping you might return. I want your advice on something. Of course. Tell me what troubles you. Emilio has turned some of my own men against me. Bribery and blackmail, is it? Yes. And we cannot strike until the traitors are dealt with. They're still somewhere in this district, keeping tabs on us and reporting back to Emilio. Not for much longer than not. Get him to the piazza. Today's final Get bonfire him. is still an hour. Uh, Ben trovato, Ugo. What's the trouble? You and Rosa managed to escape from Seta. But the others were not so lucky. Emilio has captured them, and now they await execution. Do you know where they're being held? I know they're still in the district, but beyond that, no. You'll have to look for them. I'll have your brothers back here in no time. Follow my lead. Seguimi. Ho 
on me. Where's your master now? Perhaps we'll mount... <laughs> Let's do it. Andiamo. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to succeed so quickly. I aim to please. I'll let Antonio know about our progress. Come find me later. I've got another job for you. What sort of job? Meet me near the docks, and I'll explain. Molto bene. <laughs> Rescuing my brothers was more than just an act of charity, Ezio. The men you freed will play a vital role in the weeks to come. Just ask for their help, and they'll join you. And once I have my little band of thieves? Send them towards a group of guards, and they'll create a distraction. Opening the way for me. Exactly. Saves me from having to bloody my sword. I like it. Exactly. Now I'll tell you what to do with them. Antonio's plan calls for a bit of deception. We're to imitate his archers, which means we'll need the armor that they wear. A shipment of the stuff has just been loaded into chests and now awaits delivery to Seta. Loot the chests and retrieve the outfits. When that's finished, I'll need you to fetch me a boat as well and bring it back here. We'll use it to move our men into the palazzo undetected. Consider it done. Something to think about. Si, va bene. Stop! Stop, you little shits! Wait till I. Don't carry your pigeons up to be shot at will by the populace. A bounty of one docket per hundred shall be offered as recompense for the truly industrious. Good. Work your magic. See, si, Jim. The council reminds all citizens not to eat the fish from the city's canals. Except... Sei morto! You and all your friends! Uh, Holy fuck! Go, oh, you little shit! Designer, me. To business. Molto bene, Ezio. This is exactly what we needed. I'll let Antonio know you finished the job. What? Salute, Rosa. You seem to be healing well. 
How are you finding Venezia? It has its charms. But how do you deal with the smell? Que schifo. So? What brings you to me? I was hoping you could help me with something. And that would be... I want to learn to climb the way you do. Oh. Va bene, I can do that. Well, I can't, but Franco can. Franco, move il culo! Show Ezio how to reach the top of that scaffolding. Begin in a hanging position. Then jump to the ledge above you. As you reach it, grab it with your hand and pull yourself up. There. See how it works? I think so. Only one way to find out. Try for yourself. Ezio. You grab the ledge at the height of your jump. So, how did I do? I've seen better. Ah, you wound me with your cruel, cruel words. All right, Smargiasso. Let's put your skills to the test. I'm all ears. Meet me in front of the Frari! Climbing a bit of scaffolding is all well and good. But let's see how you do out in the open. On top of that tower then? Torno Frau Nati. Looks like you've learned all I have to teach you. I'll let Antonio know of your progress. Finish your other tasks. We're almost there. The past. A vast web of connections and interconnections, all ruled by chance. Or is it?
Please enter. Your good work has restored us to our former strength, Ezio. We are ready to strike. Just tell me what needs to be done, and I'll see that it is. You'll approach from above under the cover of night. Emilio has posted archers around the palazzo. Kill them, but do so quietly. As they fall, my men shall replace them. What about the guards? When you finish with the archers, we'll regroup in front of this building here, and discuss next steps. Nessun problema. I'll take care of the archers and return to you. Then it's settled. In bocca al lupo. Crepi lupo. You belong down below with the rap. Peasants are not allowed up here. <laughs> You want to fight? You got it. Well done, Ezio. Everything is going according to plan. As we speak, my men are replacing the archers you've removed. The way to the palazzo is clear now. But not the building itself. Emilio's guards still patrol its border. Use my men. They can distract the guards. Save you from having to fight. And when it comes time to storm the place, remember what I've taught you. Seek out, though, Ezio. We await word of your success. Your little house of cards is crumbling, Emilio. A minor setback. It will be dealt with. This povero scemo Antonio and his thieves... Never mind then. It's the assassin you should be worried about. Why? Is... Is he in Venezia? He's been here for weeks. How could you be so blind? Unlike you, I have been busy. Someone had to provide the weapon to our brothers in Firenze. Yes. Your little house of cards is crumbling, Emilio. A minor setback. It will be dealt with. This povero scemo Antonio and his thieves... Never mind then. It's the assassin you should be worried about. Why? Is... Is he in Venezia? He's been here for weeks. How could you be so blind? Unlike you... I have been busy. Someone had to provide the weapon to our brothers in Firenze. Yes. And we all saw what good that did. Enough with the bards. What is it you want, Carlo? Maestro has called a meeting. Three days from now at Santo Stefano. Very well. I'll be there. Assuming you still live. If you want my advice, I'd find a less conspicuous place to wait. Seta is a target now. Seta is a fortress. If you say so. Goodbye. Emilio. Cazzo, what if he's right? You, call for my boat. It should be close. When it arrives, load those crates and prepare to sail. I'll be right back. If Carlo speaks true, I must find a place to hide just until the meeting. Then we'll deal with the assassin. Hey, guardia! Guardia! I'll send you to your crate! <laughs> Afraid. I feel no fear, assassin. Only regret. I sought unity. Stability. Order. At too great a cost. Progress demands sacrifice. Non trova alcuna gioia in questo. Ma non c'è altro modo. Requiescat in pace.
sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. Come, let's open the gate for Antonio. Set has fallen and Emilio is no more. All thanks to you, Ezio. Go! Tear down Emilio's banners. Return what he has stolen from the people. Tell me, Ezio. How can I repay you for your service? Money's always nice. Easy enough. What else? Emilio is meeting with a man named Carlo. He looked to be a government official. Do you know him? Carlo Grimaldi. He sits on the Council of Ten. Why do you ask? What are you up to? I have a meeting to attend. <laughs> 